information, stimulus payments, bitching and complaining. It pretty much sums up COVID-19 in a nutshell, shit, I'm just saying. I already made a video about it, but I'ma make another one because my thoughts have changed. Cause the more it plays out and the more it unfolds, the more that I think all of it is awfully strange. But I won't, I won't get into that. Cause if I do, this video is finna get flagged and get removed. Because if you ain't getting your information from the news, then forget it because it isn't a fact, it isn't true. I looked at the stats and I'm like, why we bugging out? I know this is a subject we don't really know much about, but it makes you wonder when you get in the numbers and you do some digging of your own. But I'm not a doctor, so I should shut my mouth. But fuck that. I looked on WebMD and you know they give it to you straight, they don't play games. You tell them that you got a little headache and you're feeling funny, look it up and you're like, holy Shit, I have AIDS? Anyways, I was looking shit up and reading stuff, trying to see what I could find on the net. They said that the recovery rate is between 97 and 99 with 75 percent. 0.25 of the whole population is not that big. That's a small congregation. I show sympathy for the ones that were lost. I really do. But come on, let's have a talk. 3.5 is what they said in the beginning, but they should have shut their mouth before they fed you what they're thinking, because they started making guesses way too motherfucking early. Now they're talking on the circles like a record when it's spinning. It's probably even lower. Nobody knows the actual number of people that get infected in their cities because they're asymptomatic and they don't think they can have so they don't take the time to go and get tested and it's shitty, I know. But take that figure and add it to the numbers that they're pumping up at the hospitals and you'll have a way lower ratio than before. I mean, goddamn, this shit is fucking impossible. Fuck the media. No, really, I'm getting sick of it. You could get in a car crash and die on impact and still get COVID on your death certificate. I could choke on a piece of steak fat and suffocate to death on my fucking sofa. The coroner would look at his colleagues and be like, hey, watch this. Rona, hey! We're stuck in this, no heading back. I don't give a fuck if you're Republican or Democrat. I got a lot to say about the shit we're going through, and I can't hold it down a second. Got a stomach full of Vippy Cat. Ain't no hanging with your folks, pals, any friends. If you see them, better send the drones out, get them in. Shit is really turning so foul, very grim. Feels a little, I don't know, totalitarian. We don't know what to believe. We don't know if what we're seeing is right or what we're reading is wrong. But there is one thing that I think us normal people can get together and agree upon. Fuck the celebrities. I mean, seriously, all of you are acting like you're goddamn heroes. Anybody can tell me to stay inside except Robert De Niro, fuck you, and Steph Curry too, Ben Stiller, and you too, Trevor Noah, untalented idiot that inherited the Daily Show, and if otherwise, we would never know of, send me a check for 500 a week, and then maybe we can talk about staying inside, but until then, I gotta go to work, cause we all got bills, and I don't see you paying mine, I'm not saying that it's not real, I'm not saying that it all chill, man, I don't know, I'm just really fucking starting to think that it's overblown like a tornado when it hits a fucking mobile home, no matter what unfolds in the upcoming months, and no matter what peril happens, wait... I think I know who's behind all this. Who? Fucking Carol Baskin! God damn it, I knew it!